Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Heroes CCL pre-show. My name is Bahamut, joined by Justin, and we've got all the highlights from week number six to get you ready for this upcoming week number seven matchup. But before we jump in to all the spicy clips from week number six, let's go ahead and thank our amazing presenting sponsor, Next Level Gaming. What is Next Level Gaming? They're a Miami-based esports center where you can play Heroes of the Storm among 400 other pre-installed games that are updated daily. Next Level Gaming is also a Blizzard Cafe, which gives you some extra benefits for playing over at this esports center. They've got some amazing computers over here. They've got HP Omens with Intel i7 processors and RTX 3090s. They've also got two monitor options as well, a 24-inch monitor at 240Hz and a 32-inch monitor at 144Hz. Be sure to use nlg.gg ccl in your browser to find out all you can about this amazing esports center. But of course, Justin, we're here to talk about week six of Hero CCL, and we had some amazing matches, so let's go through, catch everyone up, and get everyone ready for week number seven, starting out with Granite Gaming versus Wildheart Esports on Curse Hollow. Yep, the clip begins with one of the weirdest comps we've ever seen by Granite Gaming. We have Granite Gaming trying to defend against the boss, but Wubby is also trying to be super aggressive on the Wildheart backline. IB Tings gets split from the team and has to jump over the wall, but he's jumping into the arms of Johanna, played by Breeze. Poik and Breeze now diving very, very deep into the enemy backline on Wildheart. Breeze going to end up going a little bit too deep and running out of damage as Poik struggles to keep him up, but he does end up falling down. You have the arrow come out from Hanzo, and now Poik is a little too overextended. Haben running past him, trying to get someone onto the back line to Cocoon. Does manage to get the Cocoon onto Azerite with two people down. Wildheart just running Granite Gaming down. Gra SMX going to get caught now as well, having the Cocoon not allow, uh, you know, just running past the Cocoon right onto him. And that's a 5 for 0 ace with a 3 level lead. This game three of the series not going quite the way that granite gaming had hoped with their weird composition no we got a little excited in the draft about the the heroes we were seeing unfortunately the execution just did not come through and wildheart would close out that series but of course we had more games from the weekend and a matchup that we were all really excited about with chili mountain versus 30k and i think this garden terror moment justing is is a really cool way to encapsulate everything that really was this series yeah, and it encapsula encapsulates Madara's play as a Chromie player as well. As we see the time tra trap there, just pay attention to that. And the second that they hit it, you have Madara calling for it. Cattle getting ready to get the Rhaegar stun into the wall. Banana having to self-ancestral gets extremely low. Watch Madara and Masquerade. He's going to look for a hook onto the back line. Gets Madara, eats him, but it's currently a 1 for 0 so far in the team fight. Cattle's going to end up coming in as the uh, timeout gets onto Chromie just in time as the Brightwing TP's on top of him as well. Now, Brightwing becomes the target nearly, as we have another clock that's going to save Cattle from getting killed by the fort. And just perfectly juggling the fort aggro, 30k plays for a small pick, which turns into a huge 5 for 0 teamfight as they dive them under their fort. 30k with just really, really good coordination and synergy in the 5v5s. All off of a single time trap. Like, all of that was, it was just all a single time trap that was just the, the, uh, the cascade of beautiful moments in that moment in that clip for 30k so well played from them and they would close out that series as the victor as well but of course more action on garden of terror did take place with diamond hands up against oxygen esports and well as i said we're not done with queen nightshade just yet we're not as diamond hands gonna get what they believe is a pick onto nick imperius and the Gust comes out, but it doesn't quite zone everyone as you have the Blessed Shield into the back line into the Imperious stun on two members with Hasuabs on the other side of that wall with Sergeant Hammer just crushing them with damage with the Napalm Strike. Instantly, two members are falling for Diamond Hands. This was the first fight where they weren't really in a position to just poke out the opponents. So the triple melee heavy dive focused composition of Oxygen gets exactly what they want. And there's still a Stitches and a Nintori here as Nintori is about to run away. Stitches way over there on the other side of the screen just running for his life as he did go for a gorge on mouth at the start of the fight and kind of ran him out of the fight but that was absolutely not enough to feel for his team stitches a long way from home the lone the lone uh, warrior here played by <laughs> caesar salad gonna eventually go down to nick on the imperious with that percent damage but unfortunately for diamond hands this was the 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 one fight that lost them the game as they were slowly winning throughout most of the game but getting a little too cocky there a little too eager and oxygen takes full advantage and Oxygen also took advantage of the series and won that one out as well. As we get into our final best of five of the weekend, I got two clips for everyone at home for this one because it was 
Kind of crazy here, Justin. Simplicity made massive roster changes. Storm Esports had a small roster change. And, well, I think this Tomb of the Spider Queen clip really kind of showcases what a different Simplicity looks like now with this new roster. Yeah, the clip begins with Simplicity with their entirely new roster looking to split up the fight. Maka and CPX on the left side of the fight completely split and isolated. The Sundering comes out and the ranged are now together, but they don't have enough damage, it seems like, to be able to kill the people in the Entomb. You have Porky running down CPX and Maka now. The the stay or the time trap goes off on CPX and he lives for a little bit. But now you have Lupus diving into the back line as well onto the Anubarak. Just a ton of aggression coming out from Simplicity as now they're all just stuck here. Lava tries to jump away, but he gets jumped on over the wall by Slips playing the Hanzo. Simplicity with their new roster being super aggressive. You saw them just out for blood and we could hear it in the comms when we listened to them. This team was driving. They were having a good time. All of these people really excited to be here, being able to play in the CCL, being able to play as Simplicity, one of the most prestigious orgs we have in the CCL. And they were showing that their new roster is definitely uh, gonna be here to stay, it seems, for the rest of the season. Yeah, we only have one uh, weekend of play days, but still the gauntlet is something to consider. And I gotta say, Justin, Slips' as Hanzo is absolutely wild. We move into Towers of Doom, which is the second clip from the series. And it's, it's kind of, it's just a lot of really interesting back and forth. And if you could go ahead and break this down, because there's a lot of chaos here on Towers of Doom. Yeah, this was definitely my favorite part of the the whole weekend's games. This is the the final fight where Simplicity claws their way back into the game on Towers of Doom. They were down super super far in shots, but this is where they're looking to make their stand and be able to get exact enough points to close out the game. So Labra really far forward here feels an easy the fire breath, but the damage from Hanzo with the 16 with the giant killer against the wall there just one shots Labra on Diablo makes him look super squishy. And now Simplicity playing to zone and look to capture the objective. You have just lots of stalls over the wall from CPX feeling like he needs to go in. He hits the X strike, but doesn't get a full reset on that. So he's going to have to retreat and play for his cooldowns. You have a trade back with the Haka and Hanzo going down. Another member goes down on the side of Storm, and it's now two for two right now in the fight. But CPX is going to try his best alongside June. The HP bar is not in the favor of Storm right now, as the TP just barely does not connect the damage and CC from Simplicity. Just a little bit too on point. The health bar is slightly ahead for Simplicity, but CPX is not done yet. He's going to try to get the stall here. If they don't stall this they lose the game cpx goes for another desperation x strike but it's not enough to close it out and the hp bar is a little bit too big on simplicity as they do manage to close out that game Sim and that series 3-0 yeah simplicity takes the 3-0 and that's also the big kind of top moment from that weekend is that simplicity not only do they find their first series victory but it's a 3-0 victory as well kind of shaking up some potential league standings here in hero ccl our first matchups in week number seven of Hero CCL, June 25th. We're going to be looking at Wildheart Esports going up against Storm Esports and Oxygen Esports up against Simplicity. Two amazing matchups here, Justin, but which one is the one to watch today? My most excitement is for Oxygen versus Simplicity. The matchups are super important today for the standings for both Wildheart and Oxygen, as both of those teams are teams that are competing for the top two, top three spots. But Simplicity with their brand new roster and getting that 3-0 last week, I'm really excited to see if they're able to continue that momentum. And they might be the team that's going to put a stop to Oxygen's run here in their contestion for top two or top three to be locked in before the gauntlet. As getting Simplicity a 3-0 here or even a 3-1 score would be huge, but definitely Wildheart vs. Storm is going to be interesting here on Hero CCL. Looking at our final play day in the round robin before we get into the ladder bracket in July, we've got two more best of fives here on Hero CCL June 26th. We're going to be looking at 30k going up against Granite Gaming and Diamond Hands up against Chili Mountain. I have a feeling here, Justin, that that second best of five, Diamond Hands versus Chili, is kind of the standout one. But what is the standout match for you? So depending how all the all the pieces will fall, depending on how everything goes, the Diamond Hands versus Chili Mountain matchup might have more meaning, depending on the rest of the standings, depending on the other teams. But I'm really excited also for 30k versus Granite Gaming. Granite Gaming, if they manage to even continue the trend of taking one game in the, in the series against 30k, I think that would be an accomplishment for them. And I'm, I'm interested to see if all of Granite Gaming's aggressive plays and crazy tactics, if it's going to finally start the payoff at the end of the season. I... They're, they're my dark horse to take down 30k in the regular season, and it's the last week to do it, so I'm, I'm more excited maybe than I should be for the first match, 30k Granite. Well, we'll be definitely checking those out really soon here on Hero CCL.
Thanks for joining Justin and I for the Hero CCL Week 7 preview. If you think we miss anything or are there any better clips out there, by all means, leave a comment below, add us on Twitter, you know how to bug us on the internet. We also encourage you to check out our other social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, of course, YouTube, for more Hero CCL and educational content like Kyle Ferguson videos, and please try this at home with Justin and I. We look forward to doing more of these in the future, and until then, I've been Bahamut, joined by Justin, and we'll see you in the Nexus. Click this video. Click it. What, what else are you going to do? What, are you going to go do the dishes? Click this video. What? You, you could do the dishes while watching this video. Just click it. Do it. What's wrong with you? You know you want to. Click it. Click it. Now. Quickly. Quickly.